Good evening and God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm not going to start it slow. I'm not going to start. Come on in the room. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, 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 I. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice. We're going to be glad in it. It's another Wednesday night edition of Rebirth Live. And we are right here, ready to bless God, ready to tell God thank you, ready to give him some praise, ready to learn on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank God for you guys already jumping in and being right here with us. Sister Michelle, God bless you. Sister Lisa, God bless you. We just give God praise for you guys on tonight. Look, I already know you're tired. I already know you're weary. You might be down. You might be out. But hallelujah, guess what? He still deserves the praise oh i said he still deserves our glory all of the honor we can tell him thank you on tonight come on while we wait for your brothers and sisters to get in here let's just put our hands together right there where we're at right there in the house come on let's put them together come on let's put them together let's put our hands together right there where you are and give god some glory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank him on tonight. Will Lucas, is that my nephew? Hallelujah. We're going we're gonna to say that's nephew right there. Amen. Sister Leona coming in the room on tonight. We thank God for you guys. Listen, I know it's been a long day. I know it's been a, a, a rough day in a sense. Amen. But I thank God for you guys coming on into, bro, into the broadcast, coming on into church on tonight. Sister Trudy coming in from Texas. Sister Gail, praise the Lord. Sister Barbara, amen. Pen, God bless you. Thank you guys for coming. I want to stop and just say thank you. Can I stop and say thank you? Thank you guys for coming and being a part of our Bible study. Amen. Listen, I know it's unconventional. I know it's not the same. Brother Thomas, God bless you. We got Sister Tamika Flood in the house. God bless you, sis. Amen, amen. We want to thank God for you guys being in the house of God with us. Nephew is on. Amen. We give God praise for you, Caden. Amen. Being in the house. Excuse me, Will Lucas. Amen. We thank God for you guys being with us on tonight. I just want to say thank you because you could be at the house doing nothing. You could be at the house, amen, or just gone somewhere else. But you guys are staying faithful and you're coming on into Bible study and being with us on Sundays and on Wednesdays. And that's what we thank God for. Hallelujah. If you're watching us tonight, amen, you already know that we've been talking about focusing. Amen. We've been talking about focusing. Hallelujah. Staying focused, getting focused, uh, regaining our focus, staying faithful to our focus. All of these things we've been talking about so that they could be a blessing to you and to us. Amen. So that we could get our focus back. You don't have to tell me that being separated for such a long time and being away from each other for such a long time has not had an effect on you because I know that it has because it has had an effect on me. Amen. So we want to be a blessing and do all that we can. All that we can and try to be all that we can to help get you guys back focus so that's what we've been talking about and we're continuing on in that thought on tonight amen in talking about speaking to our focus speaking our focus out you may be getting tired of me hearing focus but i promise you i'm gonna help and do all that i can to get you focused on tonight amen amen we're so blessed to be able to be here on tonight with all that god has done and what he is doing amen listen it's another month you guys already know i don't talk to you a lot about finances i, I feel like that's between you and the lord but if you believe in tithing if you believe in giving offering it's the first of the month amen some people only get paid once a month let's do our part come on let's do your part even if you know somebody that may not watch the broadcast on on wednesday nights come on let's do our part and keeping the church going. I know we're not in the building, but it's still got to be paid for. I know we're not using the air, but we still got to maintain it. I know we're not using the heat. Y'all get where I'm going. Come on, let's do our part in our giving. Amen. You see the cash app right there on the screen. You can give your part and do your part in giving digitally. Amen. If you need to meet us, we'll meet up with you. Whatever we need to do, but it is the first of the month, so let's do all our parts and let's do what we're supposed to do in our giving. Amen. We thank God for you guys being a part of our broadcast. Amen. And keeping this going. That's what we want to do. We want to keep this thing going uh, as much as we can. Look, I'm going to take you tonight 
and sing a song, amen, that everybody should know. When I say everybody should know, come on, you got to get with me on tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's church right there. You got to get with me on tonight. Come on, put those hands together right there where you're at, right there in your house. Somebody say, oh, that's my jam, Pastor. Come on, you say, that's my jam. Come on and help me sing this thing on tonight. All of my life, all of my life, yeah, yeah, come on. Heaven on you, you remain the same, you remain the same. and wonderful is, wonderful is your name. Come on and say it. All of my life, I never, because you, you remain the same, and wonderful is your, your name. Come on and help me. You can go where you want to go, 
normally I wouldn't do this, but I got to take this thing back. I got to take this thing back. I got to take it back. Can we take it back tonight? Say, I got to serve him. I got to serve him. Come on and rock with me one more round. Come on, one more round. Let's take it higher. I got to. I got to serve him. For the rest of my life, scream it in your house, scream it in your car. Let the world know you serve a God. Let the world know you serve this God. Scream it in your house, scream it at your job. I got to serve him. I said he's been real, real, real good. You can do what you want to do. You can. and give a faithful God a faithful praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I pray that you guys were singing that in your house for the rest of my life. Brother Thomas, I know you over at the house saying, for the rest of my life, I'll serve it. I got to serve the Lord. You know, if I if I was a singing preacher, my voice is a little scratchy tonight. Amen. I'd sing my other song. Uh, 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 Timothy Wright, I got to serve the Lord. I got to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe somebody come to serve him tonight. Sister Gail, I believe you come to serve him tonight. When other people People want to walk away from God. Sister Gail, I believe you say, I choose to serve the Lord. When family don't want to do right, I believe somebody saying, I'm going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Barbara, I saw you on that said You're getting ready to dance. You better cut your step. You better lift your hands and tell God tonight for the rest of my life. I'll serve him. You better get somebody on this broadcast tonight. Come on, get somebody on this broadcast tonight. We're talking about focusing. We're talking about focusing. Listen, if you're on here, if you if you watch the replay, I want you to get somebody on the broadcast Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Because we're going to be breaking down part three of the movie Focus. I'm going to wrap this thing up because I've got to get into March. I've got to get into the month of March. Amen. But we're going to be going into part three of the movie Focus featuring Will Smith. Amen. So you don't want to miss that part of the broadcast. Hallelujah. I know it's been blessing people. It's been blessing me. And on Sunday, if something hits your spirit, I want you to get in them comments. I want you to let me know by saying amen. Say preach, preacher. Hallelujah. We've received our messages this week, how the messages and the teachings are blessing people. And you would be surprised how many people are watching that we don't even know that are watching. So it's important that we share. It's important that we get people in here because somebody's been blessed. Hallelujah. It's not about the numbers. It's not about notoriety. It's not about the fame and popularity, but it's about helping somebody to get their focus back. So listen, join us this Sunday, 10 o'clock, right here on our Sunday morning edition of Rebirth Live. You don't want to miss part three of the message on Sunday, breaking down the focus movie. Amen. Look, I've been trying to stay focused all week. I have. 
I've been trying to stay focused, and, and something happened this week, amen, and as it happened, it kind of happened as a joke. Listen, if you stick with me tonight, I won't be before you long because I'm tired, amen, but I'm going to stay focused, and I'm going to stay faithful to you guys and to the word of the Lord on tonight. It, it kind of happened as a joke, amen, it wasn't really serious. It could have been a serious situation. I know we all go through things throughout the week, hallelujah, that, that are serious, some things greater than the other, amen. But this wasn't a serious situation. Thank God it could have been worse. Amen. But I had to tell myself to stay focused. At this point, I can't even remember what the situation was, but I can remember me telling myself, stay focused. Amen. It may have been in a moment where I was at work. Hallelujah. And, and I was getting tired. And I said I wanted to come home. I was just wore out and beat down. But guess what? I want to share with somebody tonight, uh, even if you've been by yourself, sometimes you are simply lonely, even in the uh, presence of others. But I want you to do like David tonight, as I tell you this, sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Come on, saints. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody tonight. Amen. You feel like even in a room crowded with people that you are all by yourself. Sometimes I'm preaching to somebody tonight. You have to encourage yourself sometimes you're going to find yourself in positions where it's nobody but yourself. Come on, saints. I'm reminded even of Moses on the backside of the mountain. Amen. He had to find the time and the space to encourage himself and to remind himself. I come to tell somebody on tonight that tonight you need to remind yourself. Hey, if nobody ain't told you, if you don't replay this message at work in your headphones, you need to remind yourself, come on, to stay focused. I know you got me yelling at you through your phone. I know you got me yelling at you now through your TV. But sometimes you're going to find yourself in a place where you cannot hear the voice of the preacher. Come on. Sometimes you're going to find yourself in situations where you cannot pull up a man, a repeat of Facebook live or a YouTube live. You cannot hear the voice of the pastor. Hallelujah. But I'm reminded that you got to encourage and remind yourself. Y'all talk to me. Hallelujah. I, I, I was there in that situation. And you know, I, sometimes we think what we need to do. Sometimes we have a thought process of what must be done. Sometimes we have a thought process of what we should do. But as I was there in that situation, here's where we're going tonight. I jokingly yelled it out. Y'all better talk to me. Hey, I said I jokingly yelled it out. When I got in the situation that I was in, I simply just yelled out as in a laugh. I said, come on, Scotty, stay focused. That's what I said. I said, come on, Scotty, stay focused. And I begin to laugh. But guess what? Surprisingly, something within me got to moving. Hey, I said something within me, amen, uh, got to shifting and something within me begin to turn and begin to churn. I don't know what it was. I know the Bible says that God would do exceedingly abundantly above what that we could even ask or think. But in that moment, I'm preaching to somebody tonight. Hey, in that moment, hallelujah, I'm telling you that I yelled it out. Hey, in that moment, I'm telling you that I spoke it out. I said, come on, Scotty, you got to focus. And, and something began to move in me. And guess what? It, I found it myself. I found myself being immediately jolted. I found myself being immediately shifted into a mode of focus. I'm telling somebody tonight that you need to not be quiet any longer. You need to open your mouth and call your name and say, Stay, stay focused. Come on, Scotty. Stay focused. Come on. Whatever your name is, I need you to call it tonight and yell it out in your house. Make the kids come in there and see what's going on. Make the people come next door, come knocking, saying what's going on. Call out your name and say, I got to stay focused. 
Y'all better talk to me tonight. We often think things in our mind because we serve a God and we serve and believe in a faith that allows us to pray. Amen. And even in a private prayer, when it cannot be said out loud, we believe in a faith that allows us and teaches us to pray in silence. That it teaches us not to speak out. Amen. As the hypocrites do in vain repetition, praying in the market square and in front of the church. We serve and we believe amen thank you and cut that on right there we serve and we believe in not speaking out loud cut it on amen in not speaking out loud at times hallelujah but I'm sharing with you tonight that because we've been trained in that train of thought guess what sometimes it calls for us to speak out Hey, I said, sometimes it calls for us to speak out. I, I, I had this in the back of my mind as I begin to put this Bible study together uh, back in the 60s and 70s. Hallelujah. When 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 black people were still being oppressed and and racism was still prevalent. Amen. James Brown had one of the biggest hits of his career and it was simply called Say It Loud. Hey, I'm black and I'm proud. I know Black History Month is over. Come on, come on. But I'm going to borrow a text from James Brown. And I'm going to say, say it loud tonight. I need somebody to jump in that comment section and put it on bold and say, say it loud. Come on. I'm focused and I'm proud. Yeah. Come on. Say it loud in your house. I got to get focused. Say it loud in your house. I'm getting my focus back. Say it loud. I say, say it loud. Hallelujah. Come on, say it loud. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I, I'm telling you that there's power in you saying it. Mm, yeah. I'm telling you that there's a, a force in you saying it. What am I saying? You can think those things. Ah, ah. I said you can think on those things. The Bible says he can do above what we can ask. Uh, or whatever we can think. Uh, but I read in Romans, the fourth chapter. Come on, turn with me in your Bible. Let me sip this tea. Romans, the fourth chapter. Uh -huh. Romans, the fourth chapter and verse number 17. Listen to this. Romans chapter number four and verse number 17. As it is written, uh, I made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed even God. Listen to this. Who quickened the dead. Listen, here we go. And speaketh those things. Oh, my God. Hey, I said, who speaketh those things that be not as though they were. Y'all better talk to me in here. I said, who speaketh? It did not say who thinketh those things. It did not say who ponders and wonders on those things. It says, and call those things, and speaketh those things, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. I don't know who this is for tonight, but there is a situation, there is a problem that you need to start speaking to. Hey, I didn't say it was a person. I didn't say it was a, 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 an independent, an individual, but there is a situation that you need to start speaking to. Now, don't let me come by your house and you in there talking to the refrigerator. No, uh, don't let me come by your house uh, or see you at your job and you out there talking to your engine. No, oh, I want you to go in faith. I want you to go in prayer and start speaking to your focus. Uh, start speaking to your faith. Uh, start now listen, listen, listen. Stop telling your God, uh, hallelujah, about a problem. Uh, tell your problem about your God. Uh, I said stop complaining to God and start telling your problems. I serve a God that's greater than you. I serve a God that's bigger than you. I'm going to talk to my father. I'm going to speak to my father about this. I said you better start speaking those things uh, that be not uh, as though they were. Come on, church. Uh, I need you to start speaking to your focus. I need you to start speaking directly to your problem and saying, I will be focused. I will not be deterred. Open your mouth and speak. Hey, he said, he speaketh those things which be not as though they were. There is a power when you speak. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. There is a power when you speak. There is an authority. 
uh, that takes place when you speak. Y'all stick with me. I said there is a power that is released when you speak. We serve a God that can do it from just thinking it. Uh, we serve a God that just can do it from just pondering it. Oh, but there's a power uh, when you open your mouth by faith uh, and speak to your focus. Listen to this. Uh, I'm reminded of a man in Matthew, the eighth chapter. Turn with me in your Bible. Come on. New Testament. New Testament. Come on. Turn with me in your Bible. Turn with me in your Bible to Matthew, the eighth chapter. Uh huh. And the fifth verse. You heard this story before. And I'm going to read it tonight in your hearing. This is the faith of a Roman officer. Ah, hallelujah. When Jesus returned to Capernaum, a Roman officer came and pleaded with him, Lord, my young servant lies in bed, paralyzed and in terrible pain. Listen to this. Saints of God, I need y'all to pray for pastor too. I need y'all to pray for me. My back has been bothering me, something terrible, and I'm going to lay my hand on my back now, and I need y'all to pray for healing in my back. Amen, because I'm still trying to do this thing. Amen. But come on, I need the prayers, the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous come on just like this story right here speak a word on my behalf tonight listen to this jesus said i will come and heal him Ah, the man said that his servant is laid in bed paralyzed uh, and in terrible pain and Jesus said okay I'm coming with you uh, I, I, I'm going to come to your house and heal him but the officer said Lord hold, 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 hold up uh, I'm not worthy to have you come into my home uh, I've got some things amen that ain't quite lined up but I still know you're real uh, I got some stuff going on that ain't quite right in my house and I'm really not worthy of your holiness to be in my unrighteousness uh, but guess Guess what God uh, I still know you're powerful hey I still know that you're real uh, I still know that you're able oh do you sound like that officer tonight you say God I ain't got it all together but I still know you're able I need somebody tonight uh, to say God I ain't did it all right all my life uh, I ain't got it all together uh, but guess what just because I wasn't able to do it uh, just because I wasn't able to keep it together God I know you're still able uh, God, I know you're still able to do uh, exceedingly, abundantly, and above uh, everything that we could ask or think. God, I might not have been able to keep it together, but I know that you're able. Listen to this. Uh, he said, just say the word uh, from where you are, and my servant will be healed. Mm. Say the word from where you are, and my servant will be healed. Listen to this, verse number nine. I know this because I am under authority of my superior officers and I have authority over my soldiers. I only need to say go and they go, come and they come. And if I say to my slaves, do this, then they do it. Nah, he didn't say if I think to them. Nah, he didn't say if I gesture to them. He didn't say if I motion to them. He said when I say it. I'm going to read that again. I said, I'm going to read it again. I only need to say go and they go. I only need to say come and they come. And if I say to my slaves, do this, then they do it. Y'all not talking to me. What did the Bible say when Jesus heard this? He was amazed. He turned to those who was following him and said, I haven't seen anyone with this faith in all of Israel. What am I telling you? Jesus was amazed because he understood the power of his mouth. Jesus was amazed because he understood the authority of speaking those things. Jesus was amazed because he understood the power of speaking and the power of commanding and the power of speaking it into existence. Y'all better talk to me tonight. I'm speaking to somebody tonight. You've been waiting, oh, hallelujah, you've been waiting on the pastor to speak it. Oh, you've been waiting on the bishop to speak it. You've been waiting on the prophet to prophesy over your life. But guess what? I got news for you. I got news for you. You can cancel that appointment. You can cancel that canceling session. You better believe it by the power vested in you that there's a power greater, that there's an anointing that's greater that there's a power in your mouth even now that if you open your mouth and speak to it I said you got to speak to it whatever don't want to line up I dare you to speak to it. I feel the anointing whatever don't want to do right I dare you to speak 
Hey, uh, Jesus said, I ain't seen nothing like this uh, in all of Israel. Uh, I want you to go to verse number 13. Uh, Jesus said to the roaming officer, go on back home. Uh, go on back home because you believed uh, it has already happened. Listen to this. And the young servant uh, was healed uh, that same hour. Uh, I want you to know uh, that God said when you begin to speak on your focus, uh, when you begin to say it out loud uh, and declare I shall stay focused, uh, when you begin to speak and say it's going to work in my favor, when you begin to speak and say we will succeed, when you begin to speak and say it's got to happen, that same hour, I need somebody to start looking. I said, I need somebody to start looking. What am I telling you tonight? Why am I getting excited about this tonight? Because not only, here we go, can you speak yourself into focus? Hey, what did I tell myself? What did I tell myself this week? I said, come on, Scotty, you got to get focused. Come on, Scotty, you got to stay focused. Not only can you speak yourself into focus, this is where you run. If you're driving, hold it in the road right here. In three, two, one. Not only can you speak yourself into focus, you can speak your situation into focus. Don't you drive off the road. Don't you lose it. Amen. If you live in an apartment, go over in the bathroom and shout. Listen, not only can you speak yourself into focus, you can speak your situation into focus. The man said, all you got to do, God, is send the word, Jesus. All you got to do is open your mouth and say, be healed, Jesus. And guess what? The situation got to turn around. I don't know who it's for tonight, but all you got to do is speak your situation situation uh, back into focus. Uh, all you got to do is speak that it's going to work in my favor. All you got to do is speak that they can't work against me. All you got to do is speak that it's going to succeed. All you got to do is speak and say, God, if you be my help, Oh, my God. Uh, I, I believe I'm going to lose this thing tonight. Uh, Sister Renika, I think, I think I'm going to lose this thing tonight. I, I'm trying to hold it in the road, Brother Trey. Uh, I'm trying to hold it in the road. But somebody's got a situation out there tonight. Uh, and they've been waiting on somebody else to do something about it. Uh, or they've been taking medicine for it. Uh, or they've been trying to take pills for it. Uh, they've been going to the doctor for it. Uh, but, oh, I speak to it tonight. Back, you got to line up. Uh, I done took enough pills. You got to straighten out. Uh, I done laid and went to the chiropractor. I speak to it. Hey, I'm going to speak to my focus tonight. Uh, I said I'm going to speak to my focus tonight. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, oh, I begin to feel this thing tonight. I begin to feel this thing. Let me share something with you in closing. Uh, I, I'm literally telling you tonight uh, that there's a power in you speaking it. Uh, there's a power in you telling yourself to get focused. Uh, there's a power in it coming out of your mouth telling yourself to get focused. How do I know this? Uh, how you know this preacher? Uh, how do you know this preacher? Let me share with you this week uh, what you're going to have to do. Uh, let me share with with you this week uh, what it's going to take for, I feel this thing tonight uh, let me share with you tonight uh, what you're going to have to do uh, I want you to read Proverbs 18 and 21 hey I said Proverbs 18 and 21 says uh, that death and life I feel like running. I feel like running tonight. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. I said death and life are in the power of your mouth. And they that love it shall eat of the fruit thereof. Listen to what New Living Translation says. The tongue can bring death or the tongue can bring life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. Oh, I heard Prophet Todd Hall say it like this. On the tip of your tongue is either your future or it's either your funeral. Hey, I said it's either your future or it's either your funeral. Uh, uh, Sister Vanessa, I want you to speak tonight. Uh, I want you to open your mouth tonight uh, and say, guess what? Uh, Todd Hall said uh, that on the tip of my tongue is either my future or my funeral. Uh, but I heard Pastor Scotty say tonight uh, that I can either speak focus uh, though I can speak failure over my life. 
Hey, you can either speak focus or you can either speak failure over your life. I need somebody tonight. I know it's hard, but you got to dial that thing back in. I know it's rough, but you got to dial that focus back in. Come on, I declare concentration hey, over your life. I declare mental clarity over your life. Somebody on here tonight, you can do the math. You know how to do the work, but there's a haze around your head. Uh, I said that there's a haze in your eyes. Uh, I speak it over your life. Uh, just as the scales fell from Saul's eyes, uh, as he was converted into Paul, uh, that you're going to see it clearly. Oh, my God. Uh, I speak it over your life. Uh, that when the problem arises, uh, that God begin to give you problem-solving capability. Uh, that when the issue come up, uh, that God give you problem-solving vision. Uh, there's somebody in here tonight. Uh, hallelujah that you're getting ready to be elevated uh, simply not because you got the degree uh, not because you got the, the, the pedigree but guess what simply because you know how to solve problems uh, I speak it over your life tonight uh, hallelujah that you begin to see clearly uh, that you begin to understand better uh, I speak it over your life tonight uh, that you shall live uh, and not die and declare the works of the Lord it's on the tip of your mouth as I speak it over you I dare you to speak it over yourself as I speak it over you I dare you to speak it over your children as I speak it over your phone I dare you to speak it over your job I shall be the head and not the tail I shall be above and not beneath I shall be the giver and not the borrower I shall be what God said I would be cause I'm gonna speak those things that be not as though they were as though they were I don't know who it's for tonight I don't know who it's for tonight but I declare it over your life you gotta open your mouth and you gotta speak it come on Ah, I just heard this I ain't got this rope you didn't let your mouth get you in trouble before You've let your mouth get you in trouble before. Why don't you let your mouth get you into a blessing? Hey, I said you have let your mouth get you in trouble before. This, you need to let your mouth get you into a blessing. Hey, I said you didn't let your mouth get you in a bad situation before. I dare you, I challenge you tonight to let your mouth get you into a miracle. Your mouth didn't got you into a lie. Your mouth didn't got you into some heartache and pain. Your mouth didn't got you in trouble. Your mouth didn't got you popped. Why don't you open your mouth and use it for the right thing? Let your mouth open the doors of a miracle. Let your mouth open the doors of a breakthrough. Let your mouth open up the windows of heaven that it might pour you out a blessing you wouldn't have room enough hey, to receive. Press down, shaking together, running over with good measure. I'm speaking it. I'm speaking it. I got to leave this thing alone. I said, I got to leave this thing alone. Somebody on here tonight. Come on, somebody on here tonight, wherever you're at, wherever you are. I said, wherever you're at. Wherever you are, I want you to open your mouth tonight. Come on, I'm going to tell you like reading rainbow. You ain't got to take my word for it. Hey, I said you ain't got to take my word for it. But open your mouth. I see somebody in the comments saying amen. Come on, speak blessings. Speak healing over your life. Don't wait for me. I pray for you every day. But don't wait for the pastor. Don't wait for the preacher. But when you wake up, say, I speak blessings over my life. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 I speak it over your life. I speak it over my life. I speak it over my life. I, I declare and I speak it over my life. That chaos has to leave my home. That drama has to leave my life. I call forth wealth. I call forth healing. Hey, I call for prosperity upon the people of God. Hey, I call for blessings upon the people of God. I call for a, a neutrality in their minds. I call for healing in their mind. I speak these things. Your people are going through. Your people are dealing with issues. 
and I begin to speak it, God. I begin to speak it, God. I'm not just going to talk about it. Oh, I'm going to be about it. Hey, I said, I'm not just going to speak it. I'm not just going to talk about it. I'm going to be about it. I'm going to put something on what I say. I'm not just going to talk the talk, but I'm going to walk the walk. Sister Irma, you're going to walk with me tonight. Sister Gail, you're going to walk with me tonight. Sister Tish, you're going to walk with me. Brother Howard, you're going to walk with me. Brother Trey, I need you to walk with me tonight. Come on, let's put something on this thing. Let's put something on what we speak. And when we wake up in the morning, say, I'm going to be a blessing to somebody. When we wake up in the morning, say, I'm going to live of right. Uh, I'm going to strive to do the right thing today. Let's put something on it. Let's put something on it, Sister Barbara. I want you to be blessed. I'm trying to preach it tonight because I feel this thing. Let's speak it over our lives. Let's speak to our focus that we can get Jesus. Hey! That we can speak Jesus. That we can live Jesus. I want to see you right here Sunday morning. I want to see you right here Sunday morning. Hey, if you got to watch the weekend, uh, focus over the weekend, I want to see you right here Sunday morning because we're going to close this thing with praise. We're going to close this thing with thanksgiving. We're going to see what, what the devil meant for bad. God has worked it out for our good. I love you tonight. I give God praise for you, and I want you to stay focused in Jesus' name. See you Sunday morning.